Hi, my name's Ellen and I live in Shetland, which is a group of islands and is the most northerly point in the UK. There are lots of things that I love about living here, but one of the things I love is the amazing beaches that we have. Why don't we go and visit one together today? Welcome to St Ninians. Let's get down to the beach. If I asked you what you see, I wonder what you'd say. Sand, waves, sky, grass. Yes, if you said any of those things, you'd be absolutely right. But is that all we can see? Why don't we go and look a little bit more closely? Actually, if I take the time to stop and notice, then there are all sorts of things that I can see. Like the reflection of the sky in the wet sand. The colours of the waves. The tracks of a bird. The shapes we can make from things we find on the beach. Plastic, which we can pick up and take away home with us the pattern the wind makes in the sand, the shape and colour of the seaweed. And there are things I can sense in other ways. The smell of the salty sea air and the feel of the wind on my face. The texture of the grass. The shape and smoothness of the pebble. Once when it was getting very close to when Jesus was going to be arrested and put to death on the cross, some people came to Jesus' friends and asked if they could see Jesus, if they could meet him. I wonder why they wanted to see him. I wonder what they were looking for. Maybe they had heard about some of the amazing things that Jesus had been saying and doing. Maybe they sensed that there was something special about him and they wanted to see for themselves if everything that people said was true. But even if they did have an idea about Jesus being special, no one, not even Jesus' closest friends, had yet fully seen how special Jesus really was. None of them yet fully understood all that he had come to do, because he hadn't yet died, and more importantly, he hadn't yet come back to life. When we first came down to the beach, we could have just taken a quick look, noticed the sea, sand and sky and thought, that's beautiful. But by taking the time to pause and look a bit more closely, we discovered all sorts of other beautiful, interesting and important things. I wonder whether it's helpful to remember that when we think about seeing Jesus for ourselves, and by seeing Jesus, what I mean is getting to know him and experiencing him at work in our lives. Sometimes I wonder if we can maybe think, do you know what, I've heard that Bible story before, or I know that about God. But I think Jesus is always inviting us to look again, to look with fresh eyes, to look more deeply because there's always new things to discover and experience with him. There are lots of ways in which we can see Jesus and get to know him better. Through what we read in the Bible, through people, through the world around us, especially by paying attention to the good things we see or experience. Jesus invites us to take the time to pause, to look again more deeply at who he is, and to share with him who we are. As we do that, I wonder what new, beautiful and good things he might have to share with each one of us today. I'm going to go home now, but why don't you stay here for a moment? and speak with Jesus and maybe ask him to help you to see and get to know him better.
should have been born in a royal palace and called your majesty wore a crown of diamonds and lived in luxury but he was born in a dirty stable and laid on a bed of hay not too many welcomed him on the very first christmas day he is down to earth he is down to earth The one who changed the world forever is down to earth. He could have been friends with rich and famous, with big celebrities. Had anything he wanted, living as he pleased, but he made friends. Sick and with the lame, he helped them with their problems and he called them all by name. He is down to earth. He is down to earth. The one who changed the world forever is down to earth. His servants would have bowed and said, "Your wish is my command." But he wore the crown of thorns, gave everything he had. He gave his life that we might know the great love of his dad. He is down to earth. He is down to earth. The one who changed the world forever is down to earth. He is down to earth. He is down to earth.